So I haven't had much luck with Lenovo's earbuds in the past and although they have many budget options in the lineup, most of them are not very decent. However, I think that that's about to change today. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick, we ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got this a quick change, so we like them in face. I'll just buy the new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. So today we're taking a look at the latest option from Lenovo and I think these are actually pretty decent earbuds. So let's take a look at what do you get with these earbuds. Welcome to a review of the Lenovo LifePods LP5. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing. If there's something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the Lenovo LifePods LP5. So today's earbuds were sent over to me for review by Banggood and although these were sent over to me, I'll still share with you my honest opinions and thoughts so you know what these earbuds are capable of doing before buying them. And if you don't know about Banggood, they are an e-commerce store online which is similar to your Lazada or your Shopee but you're going to get quite a lot of stuff on there so definitely do check them out. And these earbuds retails for a super budget friendly USD 17 and that's roughly about 70 Malaysia Ringgit. And there's a sale going on on Banggood's site, so if you're interested in buying these earbuds, do check out my links in the description below. So comparing all of the Lenovo earbuds that I've checked out before, I think the LP5 is one of the better ones. And the feeling of it when you take them out is pretty solid and the case is also made of this gloss black plastic case that feels very well put together. So no loose pieces here and there and no scratchy parts, everything is made very nicely. At the front here, you're going to get that Lenovo branding there, nicely done and doesn't look too cheap. And at the top here, you're going to see a charging indicator and when you plug it in in the Type-C charging port at the bottom here, the LED is going to flash in white and it will be a constant white when it's done. And if the case battery is low, the LED will blink in green. So at the back of the case, there's a nice Ting Plus branding there which is really nice and it makes the earbuds have this premium Lenovo feel. So the lid here opens up surprisingly nice and the snapping sound also sounds firm and solid. Unfortunately, there is no special hinge here to hold the lid up. If it does, it definitely gives it a nicer, more premium feel to it. So the earbuds this time is also very nicely designed and the best part of it is the silver piece at the bottom here that wraps around the charging pin and also the Lenovo wording at the top here at the side of the stem. There's also a super tiny LED on the stem that goes away once your earbuds are connected. So, so far, it seems that everything is done very nicely here with these earbuds. So apart from that, these earbuds are very simple, very straightforward. There's also no in-ear sensors with these earbuds. So that's basically the overall design of these earbuds. So again, similar to most Lenovo earbuds, the information you're going to find everywhere is very messy and inconsistent. The website says it has 7 hours of playback time and 24 hours in total. But on the box itself, it says it has 3.5 hours of playback time. And with my math skills, I work out that the earbuds can hold a charge of 12 additional hours with the case. So the earbuds and the case takes 1.5 hours to fully charge. So these earbuds are priced as USD 17 and hence there's really not a lot of features to shout about. You're going to get basic Bluetooth 5.0 support with AAC and SBC audio codec, not too bad for budget earbuds and still gives you AAC. The earbuds comes with an IPX5 so you're going to get decent sweat and splash resistant and you should be able to use this under light rain and it should still survive. The earbuds also comes with a super seamless left and right playback and you can pick out either side of the earbuds from the case and it can still connect to your phone. 
Lastly, these earbuds don't support multi-point connectivity. So I'm pleasantly surprised with the sound signature of these earbuds and they are by no means perfect. However, these are the best sounding Lenovo earbuds I've tried till date and they actually sounded decent. So based on these are there and they do get thumpy when you increase the volume, they at least feel full and dynamic and at this price point, I'm really happy with it. The vocals on this is okay, but not my favorite type of vocal notes because it does have a warmer tone to it so vocals don't get that vibrant bright pop that I like. But of course this is subjective and some people do like the warmer tones. And same here with the highs, they sound a tad bit muffled and don't have that nice brilliant. So I must say for USD 17, they are really not too bad so I'm not going to complain too much about it. So this is a test to see if the Lenovo LP5 is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. <laughs> So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background. This is the call quality that you can start from this video. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. Latency on these are pretty laggy as per your typical Bluetooth 5.0 earbuds. And with games like PUBG, you're gonna hear that lag quite obviously even in real-time mode. However, watching videos and YouTubes are still pretty lag-free. So let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So the controls on these earbuds are also not disappointing and I'm happy to report that you're going to get all of your media controls here. So to play a pause media or pick up phone calls, tap once on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media. So there you go, play or pause. So to increase the volume, tap twice on the right earbuds and tap twice on the left earbuds to volume down. To skip tracks forward, triple tap on the right earbuds and triple tap on the left earbuds and it will skip backwards. So to call your assistant, press at either side of the earbuds for 2 seconds and you have to let go and it will call your assistant. So 1, 2, let go and you'll pause your media and pull out your assistant. There you go, a very good control execution from Lenovo this time. So if you're really looking for a budget earbuds that works, then I think this is the Lenovo earbuds that I would recommend. And I think you should take advantage of the sales going on with Banggood and get them at this super cheap price. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.